Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today I'm running my Hyper MT Plus 2. It's a 1 7 scale from Habao. Anyway, uh, they did send this to me as a review model. So just kind of give you guys that heads up on that part of it. But anyway, um, yeah, ran this thing on 6S. This thing's a beast. I'll tell you more about it at the very end, my thoughts on it. And uh, But for now, uh, I'll put the links in the description below if you guys want to get one of these. This comes in a few different models. Um, ready to run. There's two different models of ready to run. There's a blue one and the silver white one. And then also an 80%, which is an almost ready to run version of it. So I'll put all three in the description below. But for now, enjoy this video. This thing's crazy. It's a beast. All right, guys, so I will put a link in the description below for all three different vehicles if you want to get one of those. Anyhow, I think it's a pretty awesome vehicle. Um, I did fix the battery tray issue if you did watch my previous videos where the battery tray came out and I was like, ah, oh, what the heck? So what I did is I used a little bit of CA glue just to hold these tabs. Normally you just push these tabs in and you can pop the battery tray out. I don't see there being any necessity to why I need to take, and there's no reason for it, these to come out in the first place. No benefit. So I just use CA glue so that way these tabs and I just kind of held them, dropped the glue. I don't know, you can't see it. But anyway, if you have one, I just dropped it in here and just so, yeah, can't do nothing. So that way these trays just don't come out anymore. Happy with that one. Pinion gear, I just got some different Loctite. All is well on that part of it. Um, this thing is for sure front heavy and it is touchy when it comes to braking in air. It basically just wants to do a flip or nose dive right down. You're already going into, let's say the, the front is up in the air. And you want to just tap the brakes a little bit. Huh, needs to be adjusted because it's definitely very sensitive. You touch those brakes and boom, it will come crashing down. So uh, you'll have to tinker with that one a little bit. But lots of power in this vehicle. 
I did adjust the, you know, as far as it did do different weights, as far as the shocks go, 70 weight front and rear. That's okay. It did have some bounce in the rear, but I'm just going to call it as a day. I'm not going to keep tinkering with it so much. It's a good truck. Uh, as far as when it came to the front differential, it was 100,000 weight. Center differential, 500,000 weight. And the reason why I put the weights in there, just in case some of you guys aren't aware of why I'm doing that or why people do that, is to slow the gears down. It's got a center differential in there, so it's basically allowed to, you know, if this these rear tires are getting way too much traction, which they're going to because that's just kind of nature of the beast, car squats. And of course, what happens is it unloads the power to the front, the wheels balloon. And by putting the thicker weight in there, that tries to slow that down a little bit, trying to proportion the amount of power going from the front and the rear. But unfortunately, it still wants to push a lot of that power to the front. So you get the ballooning of the tires. Now the ballooning of the tires, it's kind of a good thing on bashers in some ways. Now I would like to have a, not to do that, but um, they do soak up a lot of impact so being soft like that, there you go. Now, you can get different ones. I did have the Arma Creighton, and it did really well as far as when it came to um, not ballooning as far as the stock tires with it. So that might be something down the road or whatever to get different tires, but for now, I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I would definitely like to try and get these batteries more towards the rear, but all in all, I mean, I've, there's, there's parts, you know, sometimes I got it on video, sometimes I didn't. I've had some major crashes with this thing and I can't believe it hasn't broke. Even in that slow motion, that wheel was all jacked up. One was going straight, one was completely twisted in. I mean, if I would have saw that, like if I could see that happening, I'd be like, that thing's broke. But nothing broke on it. So, very impressed with the durability of this. Now, keep in mind too, some of you guys are in, you know, a lot colder, colder states. I'm in Florida. So even if it's cool here, 60 is not a big deal. But you know, as far as when it comes to plastics, they do get more sensitive to colder weather and they are gonna snap easier. So if you're bashing in cold, you know, where it's snowing or whatever, you have, might have a tendency to break your parts easier. So don't blame it on as far as integrity or anything like that. You gotta need to know that plastics are gonna get brittle when it gets really cold out. But other than that, man, this body is super durable. I'm just impressed with the vehicle all in all because nothing has broken on this thing. Uh, other than the fact that the battery trays came out. So I just took care of that one. That's not a big deal. Pinion gear came off. Well, that wasn't a big deal either because all I had to do is get some better Loctite. And after I did that, all is good on that part of it. So, you know, those are things you're gonna need to do with the, when a new vehicle, anyhow, you're gonna have to test and tune and what have you. So there's the oils that I let you know about. Oh man, I definitely like it. So to each their own, you know, leave a comment down below if you have one of these, think about getting one of these. Hopefully this video helped you out a little bit, making a decision. But um, all in all, I'm very happy with this car, with this truck. So I'm um, definitely digging it. So anyway, catch you on the next video. You guys take care. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check us out at omgrc.com. Sign up for our newsletter. Black Friday deals coming up. But for now, you guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Later.